Zero to control. Confirming. Repeat. Confirming. Macbeth has booby-trapped the door. Zero, please, let me go with you. Negative, Newton. We already discussed this. You're too young. Now give me the code. I won't, and I'm not too young. It's 4, 5, 23. Now go, off to bed. <laughs> It was the next set of numbers. <laughs> Zero, get out of there fast. Macbeth is coming. Nice work, Newton. Thanks to you, I nearly lost two minutes. Now I'm gonna miss the start. So what? Your fabulous Z-A-V-F zombie night thing in a jiggy lasts all night. V-A-M-Z-F-F. -F. It stands for the Viral Attack of the Mutant Zombies Film Festival. <laughs> I love the old Center City Movie Theater and its kitschy horror film festivals. Thanks for all your help, guys. This is so unfair. Zero zombie movies don't scare me, contrary to what Mr. Vin here thinks, and unlike Miss Trixie, I actually like them. I love those movies. Eh, hey, I totally forgot! Macbeth's test is scheduled for today. Ah! Bertha! I'm not feeling very good. Huh? I think I'm coming down with something. Oh. Can you tell Macbeth? Thanks. Zero! Uh. Hmm? Zero? She's sick. Sick? Today? Daryl, hand out these papers and supervise the class. Of course, Ms. Macbeth. Right away, Ms. Macbeth. I'm deeply honored by your trust in me, Ms. Uh. Uh, keep an eye on Daryl. Uh. Mr. Sopper, Zero is pretending to be sick so she can get out of the written test I'm giving today on the first 20 pages of the phone. This is disgraceful. What makes you think she's pretending to be sick? I can feel it in my bones. Hello, Zero. So, I hear you're not feeling it. Hey, Mr. Mr. Sopper, uh, I... She's lying! She's lying! She lies like a rug! She hasn't said anything yet. What are your symptoms? Uh, the fact is, I just feel really tired, but, uh, I'm already better, so I think I'll get up now. Just wait, Zero. It's not my place or Ms. Macbeth to determine whether you're sick or not. We'll call it the Docomatic. This was given to me by my friend Poker Rimiucci. The inventor of the Cookomatic, which, as you know, we use every day in the cafeteria. Because no one is ever sick at Pinkerton, we've never had to use it. So, Zero, you'll get to inaugurate it. That is, as soon as I find the instruction manual. Oh. Hmm? Well, we don't have all day. I'll just press a few buttons, expose this lying faker, and that way I can get down to the punishment immediately. Hmm? I'm the Docomatic, the D-O-M. Call me Don. I'm now ready to perform a medical examination. Please lie down on Tim, the electronic stretcher. Wow, you're a technological genius, Miss Macbeth. <laughs> uh, Mr. Sopper, I have to tell you something. Silence, please. Relax. Mm -hmm. <laughs> High fever. You are sick. Analysis and process. A time will accompany you to your room. You see, Sadie, she wasn't faking it. We must trust the children. Get some rest, Zero. You can return to class when you're better. Wait! There's been a mistake! Macbeth is 
actually authorizing something? Hey, wait for me! So, what's wrong with you? She's really lucky, that's what she is. She just got hmm. sick in time to avoid the worst test Macbeth has given us in months. It's just amazing! Hey now, Trixie. Ugh. Oh, I feel terrible. <laughs> Caught my death of cold. The AC <laughs> at the movies. <laughs> uh, all righty then, we'll leave you to rest. Feel better soon. Hmm. <laughs> so Zero is playing at being sick, is she? But she's playing all by herself, selfish girl. I think the others should join her. Protective suits permit people to enter dangerous or risky environments, for instance, underwater in outer space and... <laughs> Tom's finished analyzing Zero's results. It turns out she has a mysterious illness that's highly contagious. Everyone at Pinkerton is at risk. If you feel the slightest symptom, you must turn yourself in. I mean, you must see me immediately. But this is terrible. We must... Oh, look over there. Huh? An owl perched on a pedal boat. Oh, rat's gone already. Wow, he's fast. Ah, oh, no! Uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Sopo, you've already caught it! This is true! Quick! I must enact an emergency protocol! Don't worry, children! Everything will be fine! Ms. Macbeth has everything under control! <laughs> Surprise dictation! Half the dictionary should do it! That'll take your mind off things! I got it all on film with my pen camera. Macbeth tossed something in the air which made Sopper sneeze. What is it? A virus mm -hmm. in powder form? We'll have to analyze it. But now I wonder if Zero really did get sick, or if someone gave her a little push. You think Macbeth made her ill? We shouldn't jump to conclusions. We don't have any proof right now. Newton, you get samples and start analyzing them. Then, you go to the infirmary and see what's happening there. Just as soon as I come up with something to protect us from any possible infection. To make the children think they're sick All it takes is one small click Turn it on to a cold-blooded snake And your temperature it will take It will think you've got the flu And you will be convinced it's true With a turn of this little lever to your room. He won't be coming out anytime soon. <laughs> Beware of the epidemic flu. Dr. Dom has said it's true. I will be your special nurse to help things get a little Keeps grumbling. I have to blow my nose every five minutes first. I'm cold and then I'm hot. I can't sleep and my head hurts. Oh, please, do you think there is something wrong with me? Uh. Oh, indeed I do. If Vin hides inside this, he can explore the infirmary and no one will suspect a thing. And what's more, inside, he's totally protected from any possible contamination. It disappears using the refraction of its environment. <laughs> Turn right, there are lots of people in that room. My view, you're sick. Avian flu. Hopeless case. Send it to the scrap heap. <laughs> Trixie, Macbeth didn't release just one virus into the air. There are tons of them. <gasps> Every student has a different disease. Mm-hmm. Oh. 
What are these for? To keep me company? <laughs> it's part of a special diet designed just for you, my little viper. Just what Dr. Dom ordered. Well, Dom has lost it. I'm all better. I'm getting out of bed now. Ah, hmm? You see? You really are still sick. If you leave this room, you could contaminate the whole world. No, I won't. I saw you. I... You just sprayed me with some cheap novelty store pepper spray. What's going on, Ben? I can't hear what they're saying. <laughs> You're delirious, my poor little Zero. We're going to have to do something about it. Stay here. It's for the health and safety of the children. How are they doing? Oh, badly. I fear we have a state of emergency on our hands. For the good of the school, you should appoint me headmistress of Pinkerton for the duration of your leave. No. Thank you so much, Sadie, for all your efforts on the school's behalf. All the students are sick and locked up in the infirmary. If anyone struggles, they get restrained with bandages. Sopper has signed over all his authority to Macbeth. We're done for. No, we aren't, Vin. Not yet. Newton, report back. I've taken samples from all the potential contamination zones. I'll go analyze. freak and that's always bugged me but you're an amazing agent i'm proud to have worked with you and proud to have called you my friend Finn, i'm sure newton will <laughs> newbies look how cute they are dom's waiting for you ladies first i'm now ready to perform a medical examination <laughs> please lie down on please lie down on dom please lie down on dom Please stop lie down on Tim. Relax. Silence, Tim. Please lie down on Dom. High fever. Relax, Dom. Silence, Tim. Tim, 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 Tim. Tim, 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 Macbeth has been manipulating the Dom with the remote, and the diagnoses are fake. But huh? what about everyone's symptoms? There isn't any contamination. I found sneezing powder and itching powder all over the school. Macbeth has been fooling us. So maybe she's not so evil after all. <laughs> yeah! yeah. <laughs> 
the one who did the worst stuff. That's not an excuse. We trusted you. We were really worried. None of this would have happened if you'd taken me with you to the Outer Space Zombie Film Festival. Okay, I'm sorry. Would you mind undoing me now? Not until you figure out a way to unmask our darling teacher to the whole school without blowing Ink's cover. I've got it. Good Lord! Today, children, we're going to have two exams. Medical exam and a math test. It'll do your world of good. Emergency health inspection. A certain Dr. Dom informed us that a terrible epidemic has broken out in this school. Ma'am, you are the headmistress. Take us to your office. It's serious. An extreme case of acute stupidiasis. A very rare and dangerous children's disease. But I'm not a child! Uh, exactly. The adult form is much worse. Ah! I don't want to be sick! Save me! Please save me! I'm begging you! <laughs> of course we'll save you. That's our job, you stupid head. I I'm, uh, ma'am? Disinfectant mist. <laughs> 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 And now, antibiotic spray. Magna! But I... No, tell me, I hurt you by spending time with Dr. Dom. It's just a robot. You're my favorite fish. After all, you... Well, you... That zombie mutant fish must be the source of the epidemic. You're healed. Now go get some rest. The Dom is miscalibrated. You need to be reset, Doctor. You children, you're fine. You're not sick at all. It was a false alert. You're all healthy. And uh, don't watch too much TV. Yay! We're all better! Yay! 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 Well done. Nice work, Doctors. I only hope you didn't overdo it with patient Macbeth. Extreme sickness requires strong medicine, Dr. Trixie. And it was all for the good of the patient. <laughs> <laughs> well, you aren't going to say it? Say what? Come on, you know, that thing you say every time. Oh, yeah, I forgot. <clears throat> Once again, the invisible network of kids has saved Pinkerton. <laughs> <laughs> After the false epidemic scare, I was going to send Dom and its colleagues back to its inventor. But Newton came up with a great idea for recycling them. Newton? 
I'll be in charge of keeping our school clean. As for Ms. Macbeth, who has done so much taking care of everyone, she's stuck in the infirmary due to a nasty cold. I'm sure your visits would cheer her up tremendously. <laughs> Mr. Sopper, why is it that when someone tells you you're sick, you feel ill even though you're in good health? Very good question, Daryl. The answer is simple, because our thoughts affect our perception of our bodies. If you're convinced you're sick, you're likely to interpret everything as a sign of your illness. Then you become worried and you really start to feel bad. Suddenly you believe you're even sicker. And this only makes matters worse. But if a doctor tells you you're fine, all your symptoms will disappear. And our thoughts can work the other way, too. If a sick person believes he's getting better, his health will improve. And if a doctor gives you nothing more than a sugar cube and tells you it's an efficient cold remedy, there's a strong chance you'll get over your cold much faster. This is the placebo effect. When a medication works, it's because we believe it's going to work and not because it's actually effective. So anything can cure us as long as we believe it will? Unfortunately, no. The placebo effect works only on symptoms like pain, but it can't actually combat the cause of an illness. That's what the white blood cells do. And the antibodies and the lymphocytes. The granulocytes and the... Uh... Let's simplify this by saying our bodies have very sophisticated mechanisms for destroying microbes. But sometimes we need to help them along by using the appropriate medications. So the placebo effect isn't very helpful. Oh, but it is. When someone kisses your boo-boo, there's no medication there. But it definitely feels better. That's also the placebo effect at work.